Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't believe it that I'm nearly at a um, hundred? Not even a hundred, a thousand. Like, what planet am I on? Like, I can't believe how quickly I've got to that number. Like, it's just amazing. And I want to say so much, like, thank yous to you guys subscribing and trusting that my future videos are going to be okay. <laughs> and not a train wreck, which this one probably is gonna be. Something that would be really awesome, actually, that I've just thought of, if we could get it to a thousand subscribers by this weekend for Belfort Arts Festival, that would be like, epic. For like, the festival, and I could just go and be like, yep, yeah, got a thousand subscribers under my bag. Under my bag, under me a bag, in, in the bag. Yeah, something like that. So if you could share any of the videos, share like your favorite video of mine, into like your Facebook or like Twitter or just tell your friends that would be like amazing if you want it anyway <laughs> but yeah thanks so much guys um it's so cool and I just feel really supported it just feels more personal than a picture on Instagram doesn't it so we're all friends so today I am gonna get lots of things ready for the Belfort Arts Festival hundreds of artists all gather around the town and like show their bits of artwork and there's like music um, bunting, everyone loves bunting um, and yeah I think it's just going to be a really really fun day out so it's this weekend, it's the Sunday and Monday um, so I've got lots of things to do before I get there and um, first of all I'm going to go make a coffee got my coffee and um, while we're here I just wanted to show you what I've been working on at the minute I won't be taking these paintings to Belfort Arts Festival because I'm still like working on them and they're not ready as a series so I don't really want to do that so these are like obviously abstract wave paintings that I've been doing but yeah if you can see from the side you can see all like the abstract parts like up here because I've slapped a lot of paint on just to make it like stand out so it looks really cool up close because there's so many different aspects to it but then also I just wanted to show you this bit which I love I've also put like a bit of shimmer in how pretty is that and it just, it just like brings it to life, I just, I love that shimmer paint, it's just so gorgeous. It kind of makes it look really 3D, and it's so cool. This was the first one that I did, this is the one that sort of like got me into doing these waves. Again, you can see like the abstract sort of paint that I've like literally slapped on there. Um, yeah, and kind of just gone from there really. This is one that I started last night. This is like how the base sort of looks. This is like I've just put all the paint on that I want in the background. Uh, I'm going to probably do another layer like this and then I'll see what it looks like because that's essentially what this looked like before all the white. I'm definitely going to add some more layers to it before I put all the white on. But yeah, that's just like a little sneak preview. I have uploaded some of it on my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, um, but not all of it, so you've seen more than they have. Oh, sneak peek, sneak peek preview. So yeah, I've got to add all the backs onto the paintings. Oh, this is another thing. Um, actually, I wouldn't mind seeing what you guys think about it, because I'm not totally sure whether to do it or not, so I need your advice. But I've got like so many art materials that I know that I'm probably never going to use. Things that I bought in the moment, which happens a lot. Um, and I just like have so much stuff. I thought why not take like, a box along with stuff I know I'm not going to use and like sell it off quite cheap so like people can come to the Bell for Arts Festival, feel really inspired and then there can just be like, some bits and bobs that they'll think oh you know I can get some of that and then try it at home because essentially what I want to accomplish is to get other people to do art. Like that's like my main, uh, what's it called? Objective! Yeah, that's like my main objective, is to get other people to do art. So, yeah, I just thought that was a quite a cool idea. I just want to kind of inspire people to want to paint and then give them the means to do so if they don't already. Because like, they could literally get home that night and paint that night. I just find that so cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I really need to get a lighter camera because at the minute I use like my big camera for vlogging. Um, oh, I don't know how to show it yet. Let's, just, let's go to my mirror. So this is the camera I'm using at the minute. Look how big it is to vlog. It's just, oh, <laughs> I was gonna turn it to show you, but then, <laughs> duh. It's just really heavy to vlog with. I think I might have to get one of those. 
little little ones. I might not even do vlogs, I don't know. I like doing vlogs. I'll tell you why I love doing this whole YouTube channel thing. It's because, like, being an artist, the thing, I think, what no one tells you is how lonely it is. I've worked in a lot of different office type places, and although, th yeah, the work is more boring than doing art all day, of course, um, you get, like, biscuit break, elevenses, you know what I mean, at 11 o'clock. You and your workmates, you go grab a biscuit and a cup of tea. That is like the law in Britain. I don't know if it is anywhere else. But, you know, that's why I made a YouTube channel so I have you guys to talk to. Which is why I've just made a cup of tea, but I ain't got no biscuits. I had 250 greetings cards to package. I'll show them to you. Um, so this is like a C1. Well, they're all C1s. Oh, so that's the same. This one's quite a nice one. I quite like how this one came out. Uh, sorry about the nail varnish, by the way. <laughs> Looks really bad. Um, and then I got, like, the same ones as I had last year. So I've got some flowers in as well. So I've got this flower one. Uh, where's... I've got this flower one. This is a wisteria one. Because um, I'm going to take some wisteria ones... Uh, paintings, that is. I'm going to take some wisteria paintings and this series that I did not long ago. I think whatever I don't use of the cards at this arts festival, I'll probably pop them in my Etsy shop, so... At some point I'll put a link to them, so you, if you want some you can go get some. Something also pretty cool that I wanted to show you guys was um, these stickers. So you know how in the packaging vlog um, I showed you like those little stickers? Well, I made some like little little packets up, which I thought were really cute. So there's four in a packet, um, each one. And then I made this cute little sign saying stickers on. And so yeah, I'm going to pop them in uh, my Etsy shop as well, soon, very very soon. So I'll probably let you know when that's done on Twitter. I think now I'm probably going to put the backs on some of my paintings. I've got like a lot to do, so rather than doing them all in a massive go, I think I'm probably going to tackle like five at a time, maybe, and then like go and do something else for a bit because it just breaks it up. on the canvas now. Oh, what can I do to break up the time? I think I'm gonna look on Instagram for a bit. Instagram is like the best and the worst thing altogether because it's so good for like connecting and sharing my work. It's like the best platform really for sharing work because it's so visual. But it's also so dangerous because for just like procrastination reasons, which is like my number one reason for not getting things done. But yeah, I went on a, uh, an Instagram ban the other day and because I get to this point where I like compare myself to other people, uh, other artists. Although it makes me feel inspired, it makes me feel really bad about my own work. And it was just like one of those days where you just don't feel great anyway. And because I couldn't be bothered to do anything, I just thought oh, I'd just look on Instagram. And it was making like everything worse. So I thought, right, that's it. For the whole day, I'm not going to allow myself to even touch social media in general even. I think I still watch YouTube videos because they don't give that effect to me, they're usually a positive effect. But anything like Twitter, Instagram, I just kind of wanted my day to be in like my little world, in my house, you know, where I felt safe and you know what, it really like, it really did amazing things. Like I ended up just creating without that feeling of having to like please other people and being compared to other people because I thought that is so dangerous for an artist. Probably like the worst bit of poison that you could even imagine is comparing yourself. So if you're feeling a bit like down or negative about your own work, I would definitely suggest going into like social media rehab <laughs> and just saying for the next day, for the next two days, stuff it, go for like a week and just think I'm not going to do anything on social media, not going to touch it. Even delete the app if you like don't think you'll be able to resist the temptation or you'll just do it naturally or something. If you're feeling negative about your own art, I would definitely suggest doing that. By the way, if I keep looking down, it's because I'm like playing with this ball of string. <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes like when I'm talking, especially about serious things, like I'll end up playing with whatever is around. Like literally, this is the first thing I picked up. Thank goodness it wasn't like these scissors or something. That could have been dangerous, couldn't it? Thanks for the chat, guys. And thanks to this piece of string for undergoing 
torture. I'm just looking at my list of what I have to do. I've got a list of all the paintings I'm taking, so I've just got to sit now and make little price tags for them all. So I'm just going to see what art materials I've got and what duplicates I've got and stuff. Um, just in case I did want to take some to Belper Arts Festival. So I'm just going to have a big sort out of everything that I probably won't use for the next five years. <laughs> the glass covers my scars Lion hands cast like broken glass I'm going to take lots of video footage. Well, hopefully, I'm going to actually get, try and get someone else to take it because obviously I'll be a little bit busy. Um, and then I'd really love to do a video like after Bell Parts Festival with all the footage so you guys who couldn't come feel like you've been, if you know what I mean. So I'll see you at the weekend, hopefully. And if I don't, I will see you in my next video, which should be about Bell Parts Festival. Bye! And you were the one who killed my heart, killed my heart.